Welcome to Skip's Quick Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at the use of styles in Microsoft Word. Styles are a setting for text formatting, but also one that applies structure to a document. That's important for accessibility because it gives people using specialized assistive technologies, such as the screen readers used by individuals who are visually impaired or deafblind to access material on the screen and be able to navigate the document uh, readily. Before we begin applying some styles, I'm actually going to turn on a feature under the View menu. I clicked on View and chose Navigation Pane here from the Show Grouping. What this is going to allow me to do as we apply styles, this will generate a structured outline. Now most of the time when people format documents, they do it solely from a visual perspective. So we might come into our home ribbon and make the title of the document much bigger than everything else. We'll go with maybe 24 here and maybe bold it. Perhaps apply a different font altogether to make it visually stand out. But from the computer's perspective, all of these changes that we're doing really look the same. So making any changes through uh, these formatting options will make it visually look different. But to the computer, essentially, this is still just plain text. Styles, on the other hand, allow us to tell the computer that particular pieces of text actually have structural meaning to the document. Uh, by default, text in Microsoft Office is set to the normal style. Here I've selected the art of paper cutting in my example. I'm going to tell it to apply a style called title. And when I do that, um, now the computer knows and a screen reader that uh, an AT user might be using knows that this is the title of the document. Paper cutting in China would be one of the first main headings, so I'm going to put this as a heading one title. And now you'll see what happened over here in the navigation menu. Microsoft Word's trained to look for those headings and start building an outline. So the next group of material that we have here is about uh, paper cutting in Germany and Switzerland. That's also heading one. We talk about Poland. So I'm going to make that heading one. And finally, we talk about paper cutting in Mexico also heading one. So those are the four main headings that I'm going to have in this paper on my hobby. Actually in Poland there's two different styles. I'm going to set this to a heading two because they fall under this Polish uh, discussion here. So I'm applying a, a subheading essentially to that. And when I do that, note what happens here with the document structure. It actually indented that a little bit and it also added this arrow that I can use to expand. If I wanted to quickly move around this document now, the structure is something that I can navigate with the click of a mouse or the tab keys on my keyboard. So there's a lot of power there in the use of styles. To format a style, to actually make it look the way I'd like it to though, we can go ahead and make modifications. The first step we usually want to take is to apply the styles uh, so we have the, the structure. And then we can go ahead and personalize this. So paper cutting in China, here my heading one level, uh, maybe I want to apply that orange color font and make it uh, bold. And actually I want it to stand out a bit, I'll choose a different type of font here. So I can go ahead and make the changes that I think are appropriate for this particular one. It's pleasing to my eye. And then once those changes are done, I'm going to select a portion of that text that I've changed that's already been marked as heading one. And I'm going to right click here on this tile in the styles menu. And my first option is to update heading one to match the selection that I made down here. So that's actually what I'm going to go ahead and do. And when I make that change, you'll notice because I had Heading 1 applied elsewhere in the document, it applied those changes to all of the text that had the style applied to it. I'll do the same thing here with my Heading Level 2. I think I'm going to use that same font I chose before. Maybe make it uh, a little smaller and italicized. 
And when I'm happy with that, I'll come to Heading 2 here in the Styles panel. Right click, and now it says Update Heading 2, because that's what was selected in this text, to match the selection. And now we see in both cases, those changes have been applied. If I go in and add a section here under Mexico, I can then apply Heading 2 and have it consistent with the design that I've set in place with the use of the styles. Finally, in Microsoft Word, Microsoft actually has a bunch of pre-made designs. So if you come to the Design uh, Ribbon tab and this Document Formatting group, we can go ahead and at the click of a button change the visual style to any of these presets or actually there are ways to create and save your own. I have students with visual impairments who we've made uh, design layouts for so if they need something in 72 point font with uh, two line spaces in between them we can set that up in their page design set and once a document is emailed or downloaded by the student they simply need to apply their style set to it and it will reformat it to their particular vision and color needs. I hope you found this helpful. Please check out our other video on use of styles in Google Docs.